We've got some really lovely weather going for us this weekend. I'm ABC 13 Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog with your need to know weather. We're going to start off the weekend with temperatures in the 50s around sunrise Saturday morning, then warm into the low 80s. Lots of sunshine coming in during the afternoon. Southeast breeze at 20. That Gulf breeze does bring up the moisture levels. So on Sunday, we'll notice a few more clouds in the sky and it won't be as cool in the morning. Starting off at 64. That higher humidity, though, not yet translating to warmer highs, only getting to about 84 degrees. Though what you will notice, though, is the dew point climbing. And once that dew point gets there into the upper 60s, low 70s, that's when we're into sticky territory. And that is certainly coming our way for the first half of the new week ahead. But there are a couple of weak fronts that will make it into southeast Texas that could help to drop those dew points back down later on next week. So we'll start off the morning for most of us in the middle 50s. Our average low is 59. Our average high is 79. And we will exceed the average in the afternoon, warming into the lower and middle 80s north of I-10. Closer to the coast in the coastal counties, you may have high temperatures only in the upper 70s. No rain for us this weekend, but after the weekend, small rain chances percolate in ahead of our first week cool front. The second week front looks to stall out nearby next weekend, and that'll bring slightly higher odds of getting some rain. The upper air pattern this weekend features a heat dome over Mexico. That's going to bump the storm track north of Texas, so the next big storm system coming in from the west is going to move more towards the Great Lakes than towards the Gulf Coast, and that means we'll be at the tail end of where that system can produce some showers and thunderstorms. So south of I-10, it likely will stay dry. North of I-10, though, there is a chance of getting some rain. And then we'll have an uh, we'll have the upper level flow coming in from the northwest towards the back half of the week, and that should start to push some weaker cool fronts down the plains and into our part of Texas. So not too many of these mornings left with lows in the 50s before the summer heat and humidity really begins to settle in here. So take them as they come and enjoy them while we've got them, because once the summer heat gets there, we'll have to wait and probably until October to get more mornings like this. We are expecting the humidity to pick up a notch on Sunday and Monday. By Tuesday, the lows are only in the 70s. That's more summer like in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we'll be getting close to 90 degrees by Wednesday. That first week front could drop the humidity a touch for Thursday and Friday. And then a second week front arriving Saturday will start all out and bring some slightly better chances for showers and thunderstorms. Of course, that's eight, nine days away, so there's time for us to adjust and massage that forecast as the details come into clarity. As it stands, though, this weekend it looks spectacular, so I hope you get outside and take a moment to enjoy it, and we'll keep watching the weather for you.